So let's take a look at a type of problem that you will definitely see in all geometry and algebra courses, and that is finding the angles for a particular shape or figure. All right, so the question here is find the angles of this quadrilateral, and a quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon, but uh, the actual uh, question is, uh, we have this angle here being x degrees, this angle right here being x degrees, this angle 130 degrees, and this angle right here is x plus 20 degrees. We want to find the actual angles in degrees. Okay, so if you know how to do this problem, and feel free to use a calculator, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem. This is not that difficult, and this is something that you absolutely need to understand if you are taking any sort of geometry or algebra course. All right, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. So let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. Okay, so as I indicated, uh, these type of problems are all over uh, the place in geometry and algebra. Okay, so you might be saying to yourself, well, you know, when you study algebra, you don't really do geometry. No, that's not the case. When you study algebra, whether it's basic algebra like pre-algebra, you do a lot of geometry problems. And then, of course, in a full geometry course, you uh, definitely need to know algebra, as that is a typical prerequisite to take geometry. All right, but the fact here that we need to understand is that the sum of the angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So this is very much along the line of the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. You need to know these basic facts because if you understand these basic facts, then we can just use some basic algebra to solve this problem. Because if the sum of the angles of this quadrilateral is 360 degrees, uh, what we're saying is that this angle, x, plus this angle over here, x, plus this angle, x plus 20 degrees, plus this angle, 360 degrees has to add up to, uh, I'm sorry, 130 degrees has to add up to 360 degrees. So we can simply build a lovely algebraic equation, solve for x, and then go ahead and uh, find the actual angles. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the equation. Hopefully you were uh, kind of figuring this out as I was speaking about this. Now, some of you might be like, oh, this problem is not that difficult. I just uh, forgot the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral, and that's okay. But uh, here's the thing. If there's two figures that you want to know a lot about in geometry, those two things are triangles and quadrilaterals. There's all different sorts of quadrilaterals that you need to understand. Things like uh, the trapezoid, rectangle, square, a rhombus. Uh, quadrilaterals are a big topic in geometry. So at a minimum, you just want to know that uh, the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this uh, algebra equation. You can see here that I already did this. So we're going to have this angle, uh, x plus 20. So I'll write that here in parentheses, plus 130 degrees. That's that angle, plus x plus x. The order doesn't really make a difference here. You can uh, start at x plus x plus 20, plus 130 uh, plus x doesn't make a difference because the sum total of all these angles is 360 degrees. Okay, so now that we have our equation, uh, really, it's uh, up to you uh, and your algebra skills to solve for x. So we got to remember, when we do solve this equation for x, that's going to be these two angles right here. And then to get this angle, we're going to have to take x and add it to 20. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this basic algebra. This is not that difficult. And uh, if there's anything in this little equation that you don't understand, well, that tells me you need to review some algebra, and I'll give you some suggestions on how you can review algebra and or geometry in a second. But let's go ahead and walk through the solution here and uh, take a look at how many x's we have because we want to combine like terms. So we have x plus x plus x. That gives us 3x. Then I have 20 and 130. That's going to give me 150. So what I want to do here, like any uh, linear equation, is I want to get all the variables on one side, typically the left-hand side of the equation, all my numbers to the right side. So we have 3x plus 150 is equal to uh, 360. So my next move is to subtract 150 from both sides of the equation. 
So that's going to give us 3x is equal to 210, right? 360 minus uh, 150 is 210. Now to solve for x, all I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, or 1x one or x. And then, of course, uh, 210 divided by 3 is 70. Okay, so x is equal to 70, pretty straightforward. So now we can take the next step, which uh, of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't you like how I just kind of sneak that in? Well, I definitely need your help to continue to grow my channel. Now, I'm pretty um, happy with uh, the growth of my channel over the last few years. I've been uh, really putting in a lot of effort and I'm totally committed to teaching as much as I possibly can on YouTube. And I pretty much post videos every day because I'm trying to cover a lot of math topics from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. But uh, beyond that, really, I'm trying to make math interesting and fun. So if you are uh, having a tough time in math, please do not give up. OK, uh, what you need to do is find a teacher that you like and understand. If you like my teaching style, by the way, uh, you can check out my full main math courses. You can uh, find the links to all my courses in the description of this video. But to, to kind of go back to what we're doing here, you know, basic geometry, um, basic algebra, uh, stuff that um, a good course for those of you out there that want to learn uh, what we're doing here would be like my pre-algebra course. OK, now, if you are in a full on geometry course, well, you'll see a link to that description as well. And if you're not even learning math, but you're like, you know, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I kind of like to relearn all this math that I forgot 40 years ago. Well, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I cover all this material uh, in that course as well. OK, so let's go ahead and uh, finish this problem up, because now that we know that x is equal to 70, we are not done. OK, we're going to have to go back and actually find the angles. So we know these two uh, these two angles down here in this quadrilateral are x degrees and x degrees. And by the way, this is a part of the problem that a lot of students um, forget. They'll solve the equation, but they won't answer the, uh, the actual question. OK, the question is, what is the angles of the quadrilateral? So we're going to have to go back and make sure we answer the question 100%. So x degrees and x degrees, x is equal to 70. So these two angles here um, are 70 degrees. And then this angle right here is x plus 20, which is going to be 70 plus 20, which, of course, is 90 degrees. And then, of course, we can just uh, check this, right? 90 plus 130 plus 70 plus 70 will give us a sum total of 360 degrees. OK, so as I indicated in the beginning of this video, you are guaranteed to see this type of problem in all geometry and algebra courses, right? You got to be really good at solving these type of, um, you know, find the angle problems, but they work the same way, OK? So again, two figures that you want to know a lot about, quadrilaterals and triangles. But hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.